OK, I'm going to start doing uh, more of these. So this is trigonometry, finding an angle, how to, um, but I'm going to do more of these. So that way you can watch the video and you can keep pausing and all the rest of it. Like the advantage I, I the advantages I sold of watching the Hegarty Maths video and making notes. So um, we're finding an angle because that's slightly easier, I think, than finding a side. But what we've got to remember is um, Sokotoa, Sokotoa. And I'd like to write this down, please, unless you have your own. Silly old Hitler. Whoops, couldn't advance his troops over America. Now, this is used to remind us or tell us whether we use sine or cosine or tan. So this is sine of the angle equals opposite of our hypotenuse, O and H. We spent time last lesson going over the opposite, the hypotenuse and the adjacent, so we should be familiar with that. This one is cos of the angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And then tan of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. So please pause the video and copy those down. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. Always right angles, triangles. Remember, please apologize um, for my non-straight lines. Um, three oh, centimeters over five centimeters. So, um, step one. Label the sides. So as we were doing yesterday, start with the hypotenuse opposite the right angle hypotenuse. Opposite is opposite the angle O and the other one is adjacent. So we're going to give have three bits of information for any trig question an angle and two sides. So we can ignore adjacent. We don't want to find it and we don't we're not given it. So we're not going to use it. We don't care. Step two. Choose. Sign. Cosine, oops, pressing the button, sorry. Tan is short for tangent. So we're using O and H. So what we're going to do is we're going to use sine. If it was A and H, we'd use cos. And if it was O and A, opposite and adjacent, we'd use tan. Step three, write out the formula. Step three, write out formula really good habit to always do that before you do step four which is substitute so uh, sine of the angle equals o over h and that's what i mean by the formula the bit up here step four substitute step five solve meaning find the unknown whatever you're trying to find so this is supposed to be a theta, I beg your pardon. Can you tell I'm rushing a little bit? Sorry. Sine theta. So then step four, we're going to substitute, meaning whatever values we're given, we're going to substitute. So theta is called x. They've referred to it as x, so I will too. Opposite is three and hypotenuse and five. Can you notice anything about this fraction that will always be and the cosine fraction? Because the hypotenuse is the longest side, this should always be less than one. OK, so a, a proper fraction. Um, that's great. Now, in order to if you were solving this equation, so step five solving, if you were solving this equation, if it was three X, you divide by three. But this isn't sine times X. This is sine doing a function of X. So in order to uh, do the opposite, the inverse, it's actually called inverse sine. And it's in your calculator. You shift sine and that will give you your answer. So. I have this rather jazzy uh, piece of technology that I'm going to use, but I have to share my whole screen so you can see it. Um, already open. No, Will you look at this? Hey, 
So shift sign. It automatically gives you a bra uh, bracket. You could do three divided by five or three over five. I don't think it insists that you close the bracket, but it's a good habit to get used to brackets. They're really useful on a calculator. Um, 36.86. 36.86. It's almost always going to be a decimal. I don't need the units here, but now I'm rounding. Um, let's say one decimal place. So 36.9 degrees to one decimal place. That's why I only wrote two decimal places because I knew I was rounding to one DP. Copy that down, please. Try and squeeze in two more. Ding, 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 because we don't need to write out the steps this time. Steps are always the same. Um, let's find this. We'll call this Y. You can read that. And I want cos. So I want, I want this to be 5 again and this to be uh, 4. So step one, label the sides. H, O, because it's opposite the angle, A. So today we're looking at all this question, A and H. Step two, write out the formula. So if you have a look back here, you'll see that sine is A and H. Sorry, I beg your pardon, cos. Sine is O over H, which we've just done. Cos is A and H and tan is O and A. <laughs> so consumed another huge cause. So step three, write out the consumed another huge. Uh, write out the formula. Step four, substitute cos of y equals a four over five. You will find often you want to write bracket there, or at least a space. Otherwise, it looks like cozy or something. So we got to do shift cos or inverse cos. y equals inverse cos. I didn't write this bit out last time. We don't really need to, but that's what you're going to put in your calculator. It's going to be a decimal, and then we're going to round it to one decimal place. Uh, let's bring this bad boy in. Oops, move, move, move. Shift, cos, probably a good idea to clear. So tap that a few times. Shift, cos, uh, 4 over 5, 4, then five right so that the cursor goes big close bracket 36.86 dot 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 equals 36.9 degrees to one decimal place i don't think we need to do a tan tan would be just the same only we'd be given these two sides o and a so you might be given four and three or whatever um but it's just the same you're just going to do in if you're doing tan you're just going to do inverse tan of whatever the fraction is. I'll just write, so that's EG2. And then previous was EG1. So make sure they are copied down, please. Um, and then what you can do is you can go through this at your own leisure, and then you can ask me questions when you're doing the work, which is a much better way to spend our time, I think. Good. Thank you for listening, team. Um, I will see you on the other side.